Okay, now that we know what the strings are and, and where notes are on the strings, let's talk a little bit about scales. Now, I know what you're thinking. Scales, who cares about that? It's no fun. Uh, and, you know, it's the kind of thing that your parents make you do when you're taking piano lessons or violin lessons or something like that when you're a kid. Um, well, there's a reason for it. Apparently, scales are pretty important. Um, in case you don't know, a scale is basically just an octave of consecutive notes. Uh, if you don't know what an octave is, don't worry, we're going to talk about intervals in a little bit. But basically, it's the same note, uh, higher or lower than itself. So, you can kind of hear that note sounds the same, but one's higher. Here's another one. All the same note, those are all Gs, but uh, again, three different octaves. So, traveling from the bottom of your octave to the top of the octave, um, you do that in a scale, and there are different kinds of scales. There's, you know, major scales, minor scales, blues scales. Uh, I could go on for a long time. Right now, I'm just going to talk about three pretty important ones that I refer to a lot in my videos. The major scale, the minor, okay, well, I guess I'll talk about four scales. So the major, the natural minor, the, na the minor harmonic, and the minor melodic. So this is what they sound like. Here's your major chord, major scale. <laughs> Here is your natural minor. Here's your harmonic minor. And finally the melodic minor. This one's kind of weird, so pay close attention. Okay, that may sound kind of crazy, but I'll explain what's going on. Now, I talk a lot about intervals and I talk a lot about fingering patterns. Um, in this particular case, I'm just going to tell you what the fingering pattern is for a major scale, all these different scales, because the notes, the notes are important, but for the, for the way I play guitar and how I like to teach, it's really more about the patterns. So looking at your major scale, these are your fingers, first finger, second finger, th third finger, fourth finger. You're going to start on your second finger. Uh, I'm just starting on 3rd fret on your E string. You could start anywhere you want, it'll still work. That's the beauty of the fingering patterns. So you do 2nd finger, 4th finger, 1st finger on the next string, 2nd, 4th, 1st finger again on the next string, 3rd, 4th. Right? So in other words, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4. 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4. Okay, um, moving on to your natural minor. This is probably the easiest one. You're going to start on your first finger. It's going to be one, three, four, next string, one, three, four, next string, one, three. Okay, uh, pretty easy. Now, for your harmonic minor, it's going to be exactly the same as that. Except on the seventh note, we're going to raise it up a semitone or a half step. Or in guitar terms, you raise it up one fret. Okay? So one, three, four, one, three, four, two, three. And it's the same on the way down. Finally, we get to the melodic minor. Um, similar to the harmonic minor, we're raising some notes. Now, this one's crazy because it changes on the way up and the way down. So on the way up, we're raising the 6th note and the 7th note, and then on the way down, we put them back to the natural, harmon uh, the natural minor. Okay, so 1, 3, 4, 1, 3. Now, see what I'm doing here. This is what we were doing before for, for the 6th note. Bump that up a fret. It's a bit of a stretch. You can do it. 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 2, 3. On the way down, you have 1, Four without the stretch. Three, one, four, three, one. Okay, those are the four scales that I want you to focus on for now. We can talk about more later on.